Settle down on Maine, you can bet he's picking up some pretty country thing. If it's covered up in red mud with the worn out worn winds, there's a good chance that that man is a pretty damn good friend. If there's horns in the back, there's a gun in the front. If there's dance on the side, he ain't scared of nothing. And if the 12 packs in the passenger seat, well, he probably worked his ass off all week. Yeah, somewhere way out there in a given town There's a red, white, and blue collar Driving heads around Turning heads and burning tread And stirring up dust clouds Like a shine hauling outlaw Yeah, I'm talking about his truck His dash, the county on his tag His songs on his radio his stickers on his glass the four buys the two buys It's true, you can't judge A book by its code There's a silver cross hanging off his dusty old rear view It's safe to say he's found amazing grace a time or two If there's numbers on the back 92 to 2012 But the story's about his best friend that he can barely tell Cause he misses him like hell
rolls and cold beer On my down home prayer Can't get no closer To God's grace, I swear Been way out there where the river runs Lord knows I'd be one hell of a disciple If being in country was in the Bible Hallelujah, amen Heaven bless this life I live Hallelujah, amen, amen an overall idea of the current condition it's in. Um, a lot of you guys are long distance buyers, so this seems to help a lot. Uh, things I do in this video, I point out like little flaws here and there, uh, anything like that, any blemishes that are, uh, I think, worth mentioning. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit loud over here, right by the local airport. But uh, I'll go ahead and get started on the front. So uh, this truck was repainted. Um, I think about five or six years ago and uh, some of the parts of it are original some of them are new uh, like the front bumper appears to be a new bumper and uh, this is the original grill surround it's a really great shape still just very minor scratches here and there which is pretty typical on these you see right here but yeah no uh, dings or anything like that in it. And uh, we went ahead and replaced uh, the, these chrome bezels around the headlights and also the center grill area. So those are new. And it had a different kind of grill on it where it was just the straight lines and it just looked too aftermarket and we wanted to just go back to original style. Um, I know the windshield is new. Uh, same thing with the weather ceiling around that, that's also new. Um, let's see, these are all, are all original uh, OEM uh, side pieces. They all look like they're in great shape. Uh, let's see, talk a little bit about the body. Uh, point out any flaws or anything like that. There's just like little touch-ups here and there. Um, so the front looks pretty good. Looks like there's like a little rock chip right there. That could have been when they are putting that back on though, the add one. Has new chrome mirrors on the sides. Pretty popular style. Um, just like little rock chips in the paint right here and there. It's a really nice paint job. Uh, really shiny. Um, I did remember, that, wait, one second, I think there's might be a scratch right here. Yeah, a little tiny little rock chip right there. But I know there was like some door dings in the door right here, as you can see in the video a little bit. Um, those are really the only areas on the whole truck that I noticed that there's any door dings. Um, there is also a little bit of touch-ups up here. 
it's pretty typical sometimes you just gotta be careful with these bigger trucks uh when you're going through like a neighborhood don't go underneath low-hanging trees and then sometimes they'll scratch up top there but other than that those are the only spots i notice on the roof um so yeah this rear bumper looks like a, a newer bumper also um it does have a little bit of dings in it here and there looks like an out ding right there probably had a a ding in the center before and then somebody went through on the back side and tried to fix it up a little bit. A little scratches right there. A little nicks right there. Other than that, it's pretty nice. And it is pretty straight. I think it might be tilted up just a little bit over there. But not too bad. Um, on the tailgate, it probably had like one of those uh, plates back here. That had uh, the front emblem with all the chrome trim and stuff, but it looks like it's been removed. But I know this because they've had like these little tabs right here that used to be on them to hold it on. And uh, it looks like they're just showing through a little bit and uh, just three spots one, two, uh, a little bit right here where they filled it, and then right here. Okay, and now let's see. The tail lights are all nice, no cracks in the headlights or any of the lights, period. Um, looks like there's a little, a little bit of a scratch right there. It's probably from opening the door and hitting on the on something. Some of this is just dirt on here. That is a rock chip right there. I know this. Oh yeah, there's a little tiny little scratch right there also. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, the tires are all in great shape. It doesn't look like they've ever uh, been driven on that much. And they do have 2018 date codes, so they're about five years old. As you can see, tread on them. Still looks brand new still. Uh, bed liner's nice. It's got a spray-in bed liner. Nice rough texture. Um, let's see. I think that's everything I really notice. Um, there might be a few things here and there miss or uh, not missing, but uh, that I'm forgetting. So uh, just bear in mind that uh, there might be like another rock chip or ding here and there that I'm missing. Welcome to the interior. Uh, there's a couple little things I want to point out in here. Uh, just minor flaws. Uh, it does have the original steering wheel, which it has uh, two cracks, one right there, one right there. Um, this piece appears to be in pretty good shape. Horn works uh, on both sides, but uh, a couple little wear spots right here from just handling the steering wheel. Um, and then right here, there is a screw right there holding this trim piece on. It looks like the original trim piece and uh, gauges and stuff. Uh, it's got AC. The AC does not currently blow cold, but it's an original AC truck. So everything uh, that comes with the AC is all there. It uh, has a nice original glove box. Uh, it says Ranger Lariat. It's a F-150 Ranger. Um, so the headliner is all really nice. And it matches the center seats right here on the inserts. But as you can see right here, it's just a it's tad bit different than right here. But uh, to give it a two-tone look without being two-tone, I guess, it's all blacked out. Um, has new carpet, uh, the boots, the shifter boots look like they're pretty new. Um, visors are also brand new. Uh, let's see, looks like it has a possibly newer door panels if they're original or like near perfect condition. Um, let's see, underneath the door rails, it's all nice. No rust or anything like that. Uh, it has the original door tag. Closer video of that. Okay, and um, but yeah, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to mention. As you can see, it's a really nice condition. Hi hey everyone, here to show you guys this really nice California Ford pickup. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and do a cold start and then go for a quick test drive. So you come over here. I'm gonna pop the hood and show you guys that the engine is cold. If you go down here, you can see the exhaust manifolds. I'm gonna go ahead and grip it with my hand right now. Show you guys that the engine is cold. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and start up, then we'll go for a drive. I'll show you guys if the stereo works nice. 